Now, everyone who engages in music production has to make a choice. Especially if you're new to music production, you have to decide on which recording software, which DAW or digital audio workstation to pick. Now, today I'm gonna talk about one out of many, many options. It's called Reaper. So why would you choose Reaper as your DAW? Why wouldn't you choose Reaper? Gonna talk about all of that in just a second. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Percy Jules and today I'm gonna talk about why you might wanna consider Reaper as your DAW. Um, by the way, I'm not in any way sponsored or anything by Kokos, the developers of Reaper. This is just my honest opinion. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about some pros. Um, like always, there are also some cons and that's what I'm gonna start with. So let's go. Now the first thing you'll probably notice when you open up Reaper is the way it looks and it looks a little bit outdated. Uh, it kind of looks and feels like we're back in the Windows XP era, if you know what I mean. So it's just a little bit outdated. Um, now, some people are not bothered by that at all. Some people might even think it's kind of nostalgic, probably. For most people, including myself, we're spoiled. You know, we're brainwashed by the advertising industry and that's why we always look for the latest thing. We always gravitate towards whichever is considered the most modern looking. And that's why for many people, this might be a little bit of a drawback. Now also, Reaper doesn't always have the latest, advanced, shiny features that some of the other DAWs do have. So if for some reason that is very important to you, to have the latest advanced features, then Reaper might not be your cup of tea. Now another thing that might be considered a big drawback for some people is that Reaper, unlike many other brands, doesn't come with any sound libraries or instrument plugins. You know, so for instance, Logic Pro comes with a lot of sounds, a lot of loops, a lot of instruments. Also Studio One, for instance, has a lot of sounds and many of the other DAWs also. Um, and if you're used to that, then keep in mind that Reaper doesn't have that. You have to bring your own. Um, Reaper does come with some reasonably good effects plugins, but it doesn't have any instrument plugins. So keep that in mind. Now, having said all of that, now let's move on to why you would consider Reaper. Now, let's go back to appearances. I just said that it looks and feels a bit outdated. Now, that's true. However, you can actually um, completely change the look of Reaper by just installing another theme. You know, there are many themes available on the internet. You can just download and install them and Reaper might look completely different uh, from the default settings. Okay, now the appearance isn't the only thing you can uh, customize. Uh, for instance, you can actually completely rearrange all of the menus. You can rearrange them exactly the way you want to. Uh, you can also completely rearrange the toolbars. So I, I think that's pretty unique. Um, and of course, also like most other DAWs, you can also customize the short keys and you can customize uh, the macros. Macros are complicated tasks that you can activate by a push of a button. Okay, so highly customizable. The only thing I would say is that it is so customizable that it's very easy to get distracted a little bit. But overall, I would say that's a very good point for uh, Reaper. Now, I also mentioned that Reaper usually doesn't have the latest advanced features. Now, that may be true. However, I would almost challenge anyone to come up with anything that you cannot do with Reaper. And I'm not talking about make dinner or something. I mean something music production related, of course. With Reaper, you can do just about anything. You know, and I have to say, the UI needs a little bit of getting used to, but once you start understanding some of the structures, you will see that Reaper is a very versatile and very potent DAW. And whatever it is, Reaper will usually get the job done. And also, uh, the developers are very active and they update Reaper on a very, very regular basis with bug fixes and new functionalities being added all the time. 
Now, next on my list is the platforms you can use it on. Now, some DAWs you can only use on one platform. Logic Pro you can only use on Mac. Uh, some DAWs you can only use on Windows. Most DAWs probably you can use both on Mac and on Windows. Now, Reaper you can use on Mac and Windows, but you can also use it on Linux through Wine. Now, personally, I don't have any experience with using Reaper on Linux, but just the fact that it is possible to me is just a very big plus, and I think it's amazing. Now, next we've got a big one, and that is this. Now, Reaper is just very lightweight. As it says on their websites, the installers are usually no more than 10 megabytes. Now, I'm not an expert on computer technology or something, but I know that that's not a lot, you know. Um, and from my own personal experience, I know that Reaper loads very, very fast. It usually runs very smoothly and, you know, it's just very light on the CPU. You know, there are some computers, some older computers especially, that Reaper would run flawlessly on that just wouldn't be able to handle some of the other DAWs simply due to the fact that they require a lot more CPU power and also very lightweight recording software. Now next is the community. Now Reaper has a very large and very active community. So if there's anything you would like to discuss or if you have any questions, you can just use the forum or you know there are many 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 tutorial videos out there on the internet. A huge community so you're not alone. Now the last thing on my list I'm gonna mention today is actually one of the strongest selling points literally and that is the price now there are two different licenses you can choose from that's first of all the commercial license um, in my opinion the commercial license might be a little bit pricey mm, 225 dollars it's all in us dollars by the way um, 225 I don't know uh, but there's another license so-called um, discounted license um, that's going to be relevant for if you have a home studio or something this is going to be relevant for most people probably and that is $60 for what you get that's a bargain that's amazing um, and that makes it actually perfect for beginners if you're just new to music production and you're looking for a good DAW this is perfect it's a full featured DAW a very capable DAW and it's very very affordable and not just for beginners by the way I have to say I do understand why some people once they get a little bit more advanced are looking to other DAWs uh, because you know other DAWs can just be a little bit more appealing for some reasons uh, so I do understand that however um, apart from being very affordable Reaper is actually a very very capable DAW for just about anyone so beginner or pro so in conclusion there are many many different options when it comes to choosing recording software DAWs um, in my opinion Reaper is a very good option good quality very affordable uh, by the way there is also an evaluation time well most DAWs will have some kind of trial version so does Reaper so if you're looking for a new DAW and you're just not sure which way to go then you could just try out Reaper the full version for 60 days and make up your own mind if it if it fits your needs or not um, anyway this has been my take on why you might or might not want to choose Reaper as your DAW hope it helps thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon